everywhere I look, everywhere I turn right now, I hear about storytelling. Storytelling is the new buzzword. It's replaced social media. Everyone's telling you to tell stories. You got to tell stories in your marketing, in your emails, through your social media. Tell stories, tell stories, tell stories. Become a storyteller. What's up, Productivity Junkies? I'm Darren Persinger. I'm here to set the record straight on storytelling, that you can't just be a storyteller when you're trying to market your business, when you're trying to sell something. You can't just be a storyteller. You have to become a story seller. Let's talk about the difference between storytelling and information driven marketing, which doesn't work either by itself. We need to blend these two and connect these two. Here's people telling stories. Here's what it looks like. We have two little characters. We're telling a story about these people. You know, maybe their names are Bill and Judy. And we're going to talk about Bill and Judy selling a home and how they've become successful at selling a home. We give a backstory and they move on and they live this wonderful life. By telling the story, what we've done is provide emotional context. So there's emotion. The reader, your target prospect, is connected emotionally now to Bill and Judy. But emotion isn't enough to drive decision making. If you were in Hollywood and all you had to do was entertain someone, telling a story about Bill and Judy would be fine. But you're not in Hollywood. You're not a script writer. You're not writing a novel. You're not writing short stories. You have to sell. You have to become a story seller, not just a story teller. So that's where information, data, stats, which will then connect to the left side of the brain, the logical side, to justify the decision that the emotional right side of the brain wants to make. So we're normally sharing information. Maybe you're marketing to a home seller, an expired, a short sale, whatever it could be, a geographic farm. And you're saying, you know, market's starting to tick back up. Maybe your home didn't sell a year ago, but it could sell now. Uh, homes are selling for 97.3% of list price. 20 more homes sold this month than, uh, than last year, same exact month. The problem with telling information of being information driven is all you're doing is driving the logical uh, side of the brain, you're not giving emotional context to it. So with information, you're dealing with the intellect. So over here with storytelling, you're providing emotional uh, context and you're entertaining them. Over here in the data-driven side, you're providing information and you're justifying the intellect, the logical side. We'll throw down the word logic there. So we're justifying the logical side. Now, to be a story seller, stop listening to everyone that's trying to tell you to tell stories. They don't know what they're talking about. And by the way, all they're doing is driving information when they're trying to convince you to tell stories anyways. So to become a story seller, you have to tell a story about Bill and Judy. Bill and Judy were trying to sell their home last year. Okay, we're providing emotional context. Their home did not sell. Ouch, that hurts. But home prices, uh, now homes are selling now for 97.3% of list price. We're combining some information and, and data driven pieces in there. Bill and Judy, so this is starting to cross over. Bill and Judy, back to Bill and Judy, um, had their home on the market for 136 days last year. But right now, homes are selling on average in 78 days. All right, so we have some mo emotional context for Bill and Judy. Bill and Judy end up selling their home. We're back over here actually now. Sell their home and move on to their retirement place in the Florida Keys, right? And now back to the emotional context here. If you want to be able to get your home sold in 78 days for 97.3% contact me, give a call to action down here. This is the way to become a story seller. Does that make sense? It can't just be emotional and entertainment and it can't just be information and intellect driving the logical side of the brain. To become a story seller, to be really good at storytelling and marketing and sales and business, these two things have to crisscross throughout the entire storytelling process, throughout the entire marketing piece. That's why it's so difficult. 
It's going to take some time to learn. You're going to have to sit down and actually know your stats and know a story to tell. You can't just be this and you can't just be that. That's why it's difficult, but it's worth it when you become a story seller. Stay productive, keep focused, be consistent. I'm Darren Persinger.